So in the previous video, we saw how you have network inter interface cards in your computer and how kernel shows them to you using names like, for example, WLP, blah, blah, wireless LAN on this specific bus slot. But you need to configure this. At the moment, we have this name. So kernel have seen these network interface cards, but you need to provide more information to make them usable, to provide them IP addresses. To do so, again, you have different commands. You can do it uh, permanently with configuration files. You can do it temporary with some commands like ifconfig. ifconfig is an older command was used to configuring interfaces. So I can say ifconfig this specific port. I'm uh, sorry, this is specific. Wait, I can say ifconfig this device, this IP address. So from now on, this device will have this IP address. For sure, you need sudo access because you're changing very, very critical configuration on a network. You can also provide the net mask. You can say ifconfig this device, net mask, this net mask, and that will be set. set. Or you can do this in one command. Let me type it for you, it will be more fun. You can say ifconfig eth0 netmask, sorry, netmask is this. This won't work because I don't have sudo access, operation not permitted. Even if I give it this password, it won't work because it says no such device. Why? ifconfig. Oh, I don't have such a device. I only have this device, which is a wireless device. But the command is this one. ifconfig, this device, this IP, netmask is this one. You can do the same with IP2. But before that, let me show you two more things on ifconfig. You can say ifconfig, this device down, brings down the device. Assumes that this is disconnected, physically brings down the device, not only the IP. And you can say ifconfig, this up, brings the device up, even if it doesn't have an IP address. You have to provide IP address later. But this was not a permanent change. We were just issuing a command to configuring an IP address on a device. If you want to make this permanent, you have to configure them in configuration files. Unfortunately, there is a difference between Red Hat based devices distributions and Debian based distributions. On Debian-based distributions, you have this file, etc. Network Interfaces. On Red Hat-based distribution, you have etc. Sysconfig Network Scripts directory. Each device will have a file here. It's uh, here for herself. But on the Debian machines, you have this one configuration for everything. Again, this can change on different distros, different uh, system administrating methods and these kind of stuff. Unfortunately, this is not standard method, but this is old. We are using this less and less. Uh, I have a sample here for you on a Red Hat machine, from a Red Hat machine. In this directory, etc. Sysconfig Network Scripts, I have a file which is called ifconfig eth0. So I'm configuring this specific device. It says device name is ETH0 on boot. Yes, have it available on the boot. Type is Ethernet. Okay. IP address is blah, blah. Net mask is blah, blah. And my DNS is blah, blah. We'll talk about DNS later. But in short, this is what translates your yahoo.com to 
the IP address of this server. Yahoo would be happy knowing we are still using it as an example. On the RPM devices, you configure your ETH0 like this. When you have this, you can just reboot your computer and have your ETH0 working with this configuration. There is another file, etc sysconfig network, which says networking is yes, my host name is this, and my gateway is this. The combination of these two files, this, and this, this, and this, will enable your computer to work after the reboot. This will configure the ETH0 NIC network interface device. This will configure your host name, so the name of your computer, and also your DNS server. We will speak about these two in the next video. On the Debian machines, things are different. On a Debian machine, you only have one file. It is called ETC Network Interfaces. And each network interface has its own configuration there. For example, it says loopback is auto. So have this available after the boot. This is an interface loopback uses IP version 4 and called loopback. So Linux knows about this and you don't need much configuration. But for ETH0, you need more things. For example, you can say interface ETH0 uses networking static. So I'm going to provide my own IP addresses. The address is this, netmask is this, gateway is this, and my name servers are these and these and these if you have more. So this is how you configure it on Debian machines. Fun fact is if you have such a configuration on Debian or as the one we talked about uh, Red Hat machines, you can just do ifop eth0. The ifop will go and look up this file or that file on Red Hat and configure this. In this case, we can also do if down one command, no spaces, eth0. It will bring the server the network down. So these are two short hands to configure things more uh, quickly. I'm sure somewhere I had them. Yes, if up and if down. They will look into these configuration files and will do whatever you ask. We also have to know about the IP command. ifconfig needed some other commands like the road command and doing different things was possible with it. Nowadays, most of new distros are using a command which is called IP. Only one command to do configuration of the networks, configuration of the routing, and these kind of stuff. We already used one of them. I we use the link show. It shows all the links this machine has to outside world, practically all the network interfaces it has. I can also say IP ADDR show. Show me all the configured IP addresses. It says, oh, okay, I have a one configuration which is loopback. This has this configuration on IP version 4, this on IP version 6. And this is the MAC address. It's a virtual machine, virtual NIC. I also have this, and it uses this IP address. Also has this IP version 6 address, and lots of other information. If you want to know what IP can do, you have to read the configuration, and it's huge. Also, you have IP road show. It says your routing table is. This is the default route from this device. If I don't know what to do, I will send it here and other stuff. I have a list of some examples for you here. For example, we can say IP address add this with this mask on device ETH2. IP address show ETH2. 
to show the data. IP address delete this from this device. The fun fact is on Linux, any network interface can have more than one IP address. You can assign two IP addresses to the same uh, network interface. This is fun. So you have the add and you have delete. You have IP link set this specific device up as we talked. You have IP roadshow and if you want to add the default gateway, you can say IP road add default. I'm adding a default road. So if you have a packet and you don't know what to do with it, just send it to this guy, this guy. IP road add default via this IP address. You can also say this device. So this is how manually and also permanently IP configuration looks like. But you have not seen this much, even if you were using Linux for a long, long time. Because in the recent years or decade, we used to use something like this. Say, okay, I have a Wi-Fi configuration here. I have these devices. I want to connect to this one. Even if you turn your laptop off, go somewhere else, just bring it up. If it knows the network, it connects to that one. If you plug a cable into your computer, it's starts configuring that one it knows that okay i prefer the cable over the wi-fi so if the cable is plugged i will route the network through the cable and all this stuff how this magic is happening trust me in the first years this looks like magic uh, this happens via a service called network manager we have a service in most linuxes it's called network manager you can check it in your system ctl or whatever you are using for uh, controlling your services and this guy is running in the background watching all the networks doing all the configurations connecting from this one disconnecting from the other one prioritize one of the for example cables over your wi-fi and these kind of stuff to talk with your network manager you need a client you just saw my GUI based client, which was very cool. You can come from here. You can do all the configurations, check the more networks, create something, blah, blah. But on non GUI systems, you would still need to do this. One nice client to know about is NMCLI, command line interface, network manager, command line interface. This is a program. Uh, which controls the network manager which talks with network manager is a better phrase and please remember if you are controlling something with a network manager you should not mention it in your etc network interfaces or other hard configurations nmcli has lots of commands nmcli if you just run it it tells you okay this is the current configuration this is your wireless LAN and it's green, so I'm connected using this one. This is this hardware. It's a Wi-Fi with this address. MTU is this one. Uh, IP version 4 is my default and this is the configuration. This is my routing table. Lots and lots of information. It's super cool. LO, the loopback is connected. Also, I have something which is disconnected. This is our VPNs and this is my dns configuration this was a simple run you can sell help and it shows you other options you can say general information nmcli general it shows you okay your computer is connected connectivity is fully connected wi-fi enabled blah 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 which i don't know what are these or you can say and help and go for example for device and say i want to see the status of devices it's okay you have three devices one is a wireless it's connected to this one another one is the loopback and another one you have a vpn connection which is not connected it's a wi-fi p2p disconnected you can check lots of things and for each of these you can say nmcli help for example 
NM device help more information about the device it says okay device show is a normal one device Wi-Fi so you can say NM device Wi-Fi will give you some information about your Wi-Fi status which is nice in the terminal it says at the moment you are connected to this network this is the name infra channel one this is the speed and this is the situation even it has some bars which is cool or you can say nm device wi-fi connect to blah 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 i think i have an example uh device wi-fi yes i have nm cli network manager clients device wi-fi connect to this one the name of the network i want to connect to password is this this is good to know about even not for the exam because sometimes you are stuck with a laptop which only has a terminal and you need to connect to the wi-fi so nm cli device wi-fi connect to this network password is this Let's go for the third section and talk about fancy name for your computers. What do you call your computer? What its fancy name?